listeners, I'm so glad you're here at camp today. Today is a very special day at camp because we are going on a canoe ride. Yes, so get ready, go get your towel, get in your bathing suit and head on down to the small crafts beach where we have all the canoes. And the exciting part is that each of you are going to have your own canoe. So as you get ready to move on down to the beach, begin to get comfortable in your seat. And as you walk down there, you're reminded of where you are right now, where you are right now in your relationship, in what it is you're asking for in love, and all that is present with you and your life right here and now. Because this is where you are going to start today. You're starting from this place, knowing what you're asking for, knowing what it is you are desiring to create in your love life. And then today we get to move from here towards love. So as you arrive down at the beach, go ahead and let your imagination guide you as to which canoe you're going to choose and get to your canoe, grab a paddle, they're on the beach there for you, and get in the canoe. And whether you know how to do this or not, you'll probably get the hang of it pretty fast. Begin to push yourself off from the shore until you notice that moment where you just begin floating in the water. And it's just this really lovely moment when the water is supporting you and that you're no longer attached to where you were before. And noticing how that feels to know that you're no longer where you just were. And acknowledging that little step, that little push that it took to leap into the space of this water, this vast body of water. And as you look out into the water, you'll notice that there are a lot of different places you can go. You'll notice a bunch of different islands. You may even see the shore on the other side. And then there's there are boats and little plantoons or whatever you call those things, barges, <laughs> where you can, you can go wherever you want to go. So noticing what is calling your attention, noticing where you are wanting to go. And like in your space of relationship, you probably have a sense of what's fun for you. So following that sense of what feels light and fun and exciting for you. And reminding yourself that no matter, you know, what moment it is, that you always get to make a new choice. So begin to paddle. So putting your paddle in the water with each little motion, your canoe moves forward. And noticing what it's like to honor this space in between no longer where you were and not yet where you're going. What is that like for you? So giving yourself a moment to notice this space in between. This is the magic. And how much fun can you have here? So taking a moment to notice the beauty of the water, the sunshine sparkling on the water, 
even as you paddle, you can look down into the water and see, wow, there's fish, there's seaweed, there are rocks. Noticing how even when after you've made a paddle that you kind of continue to still move. And let yourself be in the flow of that. And even when, oh wow, I'm noticing it already, the winds, the winds are blowing, even when the winds are blowing and may pull your canoe one direction or the other or here and there, that you can continue to move your boat. And when these winds hold the energies of sadness or fear or frustration, just allowing yourself to be present with you and just noticing those winds move by. There'll be winds of joy. There'll be winds of peace. There'll be winds of loneliness. There'll be winds of excitement. And noticing what it's like that even if your boat moves a little bit with the winds, that you can make the choice to continually paddle towards where you're going, that you are the one that can be aware of these things and notice the sensations that come with those winds without becoming that, without making it solid and real and giving up, that it's up to you to continue to be aware Notice what you notice, but you are the one that is leading this journey. And it's okay. It's safe for you to have a wind of sadness. It's safe for you to have your boat move a little bit off course. And checking in every once in a while. Okay, so I was moving towards this space. Is that still where I want to go right now? Or is there something else that is calling my attention more? Honoring you in this space in between. Honoring whatever it is that you know now. Because you've moved a little further along this path. What do you know now that you didn't know before? Letting yourself enjoy this journey. Smell the fresh air, noticing your friends on their boats around you. What else are you aware of about this journey? Giving yourself the energy, the consciousness, the space, the kindness, the nurturing that's available here and now. And take as long as you want to be present with this. If you want to pause the audio for a moment, you can. And everybody has their own pace. Everybody has their own timing. And it's up to you to just keep being present with all that is occurring. And now, wherever you have decided that you were going, you have arrived. Arriving at your place. Arriving at the shore of this new place. Arriving here and noticing that as you're here, what do you see here now? Are there, is this working for you? Would you like to stay here? You always have the choice to get in your canoe and move to a new place or explore what's here now. You're the one that will know what wants to happen next, following the energy of that. And also noticing that as you're here, if you're deciding, yes, this is where I want to be now, that 
Now there's a new journey, the journey of being in the space of this and what wants to happen here. So if there is a description of life, the entire life is in between, in between when you've arrived here in the world and when you leave to go to the next world. This is the experience of your life, moving in it, with it, receiving from it. And how does it get any better than this? So I encourage you to take a moment to maybe pull out your journal and write some notes about what you noticed about this journey, about moving towards love, about being in the space in between and recognizing from this place that you are different than you were before on that beginning shore. And even in this small little canoe trip that you have changed and honoring the difference that you be from the subtle changes that each stroke of your oar has <laughs> brought you to a new place. And anywhere in your body or your being where you want to look back at that shore that you left and all of the choices you made before that and say, why didn't I know better? That you resist going to making yourself wrong from in the past that you resist anywhere where from a new consciousness you go back and and make yourself wrong for the choices you made before that this is an opportunity to honor your continued growth and to allow yourself to receive all that wants to be here and now and give yourself that kindness that presence, that honoring of you here and now. And enjoy the journey. And know that no matter what winds of fear or sadness that arise, that there's always something that you can choose to care for you. And it can include a lot of things. It can include choosing to be just aware that those are not who you are, that they're sensations that come and go. You can choose to call a friend. You can choose to take a different journey and look at a different space, move your body, create something fun. And anything else that you know that is, is inspiring you and moving through you. So celebrating you here and now. How does it get any better than this? And I am so happy that you are here at camp. Have a great day. Love camp where we find our beauty when we know we're worthy that's when we attract true love is always within us i know when i trust it it's my destiny my destiny